So the first thing I want to do before we get, you know, everything set up on our machines so that we could develop on our machines, we have, you know, all that stuff going on our own computers, is we could go to this place called Golang Playground. And Golang Playground is at the official Golang website, golang.org. And it's a place where you could write code and run it. And that code will compile and then you'll be able to see the output. So, you know, here's the basic Hello World play uh, program this one's actually hello playground i'm going to change that to world what it says playground not world hello world there's the official you know hello world program and uh and one other thing before we kind of start looking at the pieces of this program is you could click the share button so if you ever need to share your code with somebody you could just copy that url and send it to them and they could come and take a look at it at the at the playground Anyhow, uh, so here, here's the, you know, the starting point of understanding any computing, computer language. And we have uh, first here on line one, we have package main. And so Go code is organized into packages. And all you can, you can think of packages just sort of like, you know, different little chunks of code that you store functionality in. And so package main, uh, when you have, uh, you want to create an executable program, and so you you know if you want to create a program that runs somewhere, uh, generally speaking, you're going to need package main. Sometimes we'll write you know just functionality that isn't going to be an executable program, but it'll be functionality that we want to use in some other program. It'll just be like, hey, I want to reuse this chunk of code all over the place. That will just be a package. It's not going to be an executable. But when you want something to be an executable, you need to have a package main. And inside package main, you need to have func main. And so this is the entry point for your program. So we, we, we have up here on line one, we say this is package main, it's our package declaration. And then down here on line five, we have func main, and this is our main func, which is the entry point to the program. And then, you know, in between those two, we have three. Line three, which is import funct. And that's the way you say that is funct. And that's the funct package. <laughs> and the funct package has different functionality. And one of the functions that you could call from the funct package is print line. So what I mean by that, let's just take a moment and go over to godoc.org. And there's two places you can look at official documentation. Uh, so Golang, you know, if I just did Golang funct, right, I come to Golang uh, org package funct. And so here's the documentation for the standard, uh, so this is from the, the standard library, and this, this key term, standard library, right? The standard library is like the library of code that comes with the language that I could then use. So it's pre-written code that I could then just grab and pull and put into my program. So that's what the standard library is. It comes with the, the language. And uh, so here we have the standard library and we have funct, right? Package funct. And this is at golang.org. Well, some other guy created this website, godoc.org. And at godoc.org, you could also go look at funct package from the standard library. And uh, this is the exact same documentation. Well, this is the official website, right? And then this is just another website that some guy created. But the nice thing about this website is there's all kinds of other functionality that's out there. So for instance, let's say I wanted a universally unique ID. I could search for that and I could see like, hey, here's something created by this guy. And I could see the documentation from something that's not in the standard library, but from a third party package provider. And so the, the main takeaway that you need to get from everything I just rambled about is that Programming languages will have a standard library. That standard library has some code which is already pre-written that you could use in your programs, right? And so Go also has a standard library. And golang.org is the official website of Go. And when we go golang.org package uh, funct, we could see like, you know, hey, what is the, the packages from the standard library? We could also see that over at godoc.org. So here it is for funct. But also at godoc.org, and this is just like created by some other guy, right? You also have, uh, you know, documentation for third-party packages. So it's pre-written code. Somebody else wrote it, and you could search for it, and you could use it in your programs. But, uh, you know, and the, the documentation for it is also available right here at godoc.org, whereas golang.org doesn't have third-party packages, right? So if I took this over to golang.org and put that in, I'm not gonna see anything. It's gonna say, I don't know what you're talking about. One last thing that's just good to know about golang.org is that we have this deal here where you could go to source and you could sort of like see the source 
files which make up that package. So I could go ahead and look at the individual files of code. And this is also a really great way to understand how packages work when you're, you're writing programs. And I know I'm just sort of like, if you're new to programming, you're kind of like, ah. But you know, the thing about programming is you just keep going with it. It's like anything, right? And, uh, and things that were confusing, you know, 10 lectures before, after you've done 10 more lectures, those become more clear. And so just hang out with that confusion. That's my one recommendation to you if you're new to all this. But anyhow, here we have uh, golang.org. And we could change that to source, and we could see the different files which make up that package. And if we look at those files, right, just opening them up, all of them at the top are going to start out by saying package fumpt, right? So let me just look here, package fumpt, package fumpt test. So that's how we'd write a test file. Here's another package fumpt. So this is telling, you know, and this is, would be the test file right there. This is telling the computer, the compiler, that, you know, um, you know package fumpt, package fump, that all of these packages are, all these files are part of the package fump. And so when I do this here, package fump, I'm, I'm saying, uh, well here when I go import fump, I'm saying I want to use things from this package and the, the functionality I want to use is print line. And so print line allows me to print a line to standard out. And standard out is the monitor or often the terminal, the command line. And so, uh, and so this, is, this is our first program. Fumpt print line and the takeaways quick review the takeaways from this video is that one you have this place the go playground right and you could come here and you could run code and you could share it two uh, when you create a, a little program when you create a program in go right it needs to have package main if it's going to be an executable program and func main is the entry point to your program three uh, we could import packages of pre-written code and we could use those, uh, use that code in our programs. Uh, four, there's something called a standard library and the standard library has a bunch of pre-written code that we could use in our programs and it comes with the language. So it's written by the people who wrote the language so you could have complete faith and reliability in the standard library, right? And then uh, you could go see the documentation for, uh, you know, you could go see the documentation for different, you know, packages uh, by going to golang.org and that's where you could find the standard library documentation or you could also find the same documentation for the standard library at godoc.org but at godoc.org you also can find third-party packages all right so uh, those are some really key concepts and good concepts to take away you have written your first program here hello world right and uh, and it's uh, that's the entry point we've done a, pr a print line and you know, printed something to the monitor and that's our first program. In the next video, we'll see variables.